late right now. We've been up for like 45 minutes. I'm just quickly doing my makeup right now because I'm gonna shoot one more photo in our new camo hoodie. Just some last minute stuff. So I actually was not going to be vlogging today. I don't know, I've never vlogged a launch day before, but my camera was by my bedside this morning and I was like, I might as well vlog. Also, Olivia and I were up until like 3 a.m. last night. We had a Google meet with some of our friends and we were uh, video calling while screen sharing, while just like going through some website stuff and some photos and just finishing the last minute stuff up and we were all talking about how people don't really know what goes into like, having a brand and I honestly didn't even know until I was a brand owner like what it actually took and we don't even have that many products yet and it's a lot of work so I just like really want to show the behind the scenes because everyone involved is really so hardworking and there's just like a lot that goes into the back end of the website, coding, um, there's just a lot of moving parts. So I thought I would vlog today. So if you guys didn't know, I have a brand and it's called Dairy Boy. It is Thursday, April 13th and I'm launching today a brand refresh and I'm launching some new products and launching my first home products, which is my candle. And these beautiful little makeup pouches. This fabric is actually sourced from India and this is a traditional style block printing that is so so gorgeous it's one of my favorite styles of prints reminds me a lot of growing up my grandmother had a ton of these and a ton of bags made in this different fabric and she always used to give me little makeup pouches so I picked my favorite patterns and then had these made with a small business in India. They're all handmade. They're also plastic lined so they don't get ruined. And then we had them here in the U.S. embroidered. I'm so happy with these and just love how they turned out. I didn't realize how excited I would be about launching a candle. I don't know, there's something about candles in general. I don't know, I feel like I very closely and intimately picked like the scents down to the tea. And then I burn them in my home constantly and like I get to share that with you guys. There's just nothing really like that. I don't know what I'm most excited about. Creating products that I really wanted for myself and then selling them has been a really cool part of this. A lot of homeware and products that you'll see just in and around my house very naturally. Nothing that I wouldn't use and things that I really just want in my house and in my kitchen and then being able to share that with you guys and kind of share my lifestyle and the things that I like with you guys. Oh, that's cool. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? I actually did sleep. You did? Yeah. Good. I felt good about it. Wow. I feel good about it too. I feel like everything is... Well, I usually don't sleep because it's like... I know. I feel like on the launches you don't normally sleep. Friendsgiving, we were drunk the entire night, so there was no sleep. Oh, you was on our last launch? The last... The big drop that we had was Friendsgiving when I dropped the first camo and it was like 10 a.m. and we were still really scrambling and still literally drunk. So we are working with quite a few different people remotely. So the team has and will be expanding even more, but it's been pretty cool. I feel like I have people on my team that are kind of from all over and as much as it would be nice to have an office and have everyone come in and stuff, I don't know, there's something kind of cool about collaborating with a bunch of different creative, hardworking people from all over. Since I am an e-commerce brand, it works. I feel like documenting the behind the scenes and kind of the journey of Dairy Boy as we evolve over the years will be really cool for the people who follow me and support me to see and yeah we're definitely still a small brand and have literally so much to launch. Today is just really the launch, getting out the candles, the refresh, and then the makeup pouches but it's really just only the start of what we have to come. So I'm so excited for you guys to be with me every step of the way.
live view. Oh my god, there are so many people. Yeah, like, can you see my screen? Oh my god, this is yeah. crazy. Okay, hi guys. I'm actually gonna turn this into a little vlog. Wow. We're just kind of like sitting at the computers, chatting, looking at the orders come in. The candle sold out, so beyond grateful for you guys. I was like tearing up. We're gonna be announcing the restock this coming week. Also, we're gonna be making new scents. This was really just like the brand refresh, the relaunch getting the new website out and then continuing to improve, fine tune, listen to you guys. So I went crazy on Amazon. It was probably one of the biggest Amazon orders I've ever done in my whole life. I don't remember everything I ordered, but I know I ordered a new coffee machine, like an espresso machine. So I don't think this is from Amazon. 437 sent me a bunch of their active wear. Super nice. Liv, we should start going for walks by the beach now. Love that. So I was putting off buying one of these mandolins to slice vegetables and stuff for so long And then I followed this really cute girl condiment Claire I think that's who I saw using one on TikTok and she pickles a lot of stuff so Needed one of these got this grill scraper because I've been grilling a lot. Oh, this is uh for Louie Got some rope reins. Got these cute kitchen aid mitts because my oven mitts burnt. I'm gonna be making oven mitts for Jerry Boy. When I'm making products, it is nice to like see other products and see what type of fabric and quality people use when I'm gonna be starting to make and manufacture my own home goods. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is my coffee. Oh, wait, no it's not. Coffee maker is probably coming. Later today, I completely forgot I ordered this. Wait, actually, this will be really fun to show on my YouTube. So I bought spice jars. I mean, you guys have probably seen this on TikTok, but I bought spice jars that you like fill with spices. And they're all the same, so they're all uniform. I also bought this little Japanese cutting board. Oh my God, the wood it smells so good. Spice checklist, you guys. Whoa. Okay, all of that paper were labels. just packed up the car. I took a nap this afternoon and then worked on some more Dairy Boy stuff. We had a little daily recap meeting and then, oh my God, it is so bright. But now Olivia and I are going to go get out of the house and go to the beach. It is literally such a beautiful day. It's literally like 80 degrees here. So we're going to go to the beach and have some pizza and champagne to celebrate today. Love you.
guys. I thought I would turn this into a two-day vlog for you guys because why not? I'm trying to make all my videos around the 20 minute mark so I will vlog another day or at least some of my day today. Woke up and had work to do right away. Have a few meetings today and want to head to the barn and also I have some exciting things being delivered today so got a banana strawberry smoothie and then a bacon egg and cheese. Thank you so much. I prepared a proposal based on kind of what Raylan like briefed me on what you guys were thinking for the pop-up. Hi guys, it's chaos in here. I ordered this really large print. It is so pretty. It's this really big horse print. Really excited to show you guys. I've been waiting for it for a while now. It's literally like a gallery sized print. I have someone coming over to mount it soon, but I'm gonna go run to the barn right now before it gets too late. Olivia and I had three very exciting meetings this morning. One about a pop-up that I'm going to be doing this summer in New York City. And then I'll insert some videos of the two other meetings that we had. Don't want to give away too much, but this will give you guys like a little bit of a hint. But I'm going to head to the barn now. It is so hot here, guys. It's like fully, feels like summer. This top is probably like a little bit low for the barn, but it's all right. I haven't been able to go in the past few days because of everything that's been going on so really wanted to get out of the house today and just get some fresh air I'm really excited I got Louie this nice saddle pad that looks very comfy hey Louie Hey guys, I got my usual large Coke medium fry. Uh huh. I had a great, great trail ride. Also, guys, don't you feel like McDonald's fries taste better in the car like on the way home? Whenever I get home and eat the fries, I'm always like, but in the car, in my lap. I hate different. Anyways, I was supposed to get dinner with my dad tonight. And I don't know if it's happening anymore. So I was gonna wait to eat, but not anymore. I'm really excited to get home and see the print. It was hung up at my house while I was gone. Oh my God, it looks so good. Wow. I wish you guys could see it in person. It is like perfect. Like it looks so good. I wish it was brighter in here. It is, but like, I feel like you guys won't be able to tell, but it looks so good. Okay guys, my dad just got here. I can't find my vlog camera. So I'm just gonna show you guys my outfit. I'll show you a better video, insert a better video. But I have to run, he's here. It's so hot out still, I'm not even gonna, on a jacket. Hey. Okay. 